Welcome to Electra Online. Now let's find the first quartile for a larger data set in an ideal data set where we have exactly 100 data points, numbers from 1 to 100. So the low is 1, the high is 100, and you can see that the quartile 1, the first quartile, is exactly between 25 and 26 because you have exactly 25% of your data points to the left and 75% of your data points to the right. Of course, there is no point between 25 and 26, or at least not a data point. So how do we find the first quartile? Well, again, we have our three methods and let's go to our method three first because we have an exact one quarter, three quarter boundary. And if the boundary is not exactly on a data point, but in between two data points, then we find the first quartile by taking the average of the two points on either side of that boundary. So in this case, for method three, it's going to be 25 plus 26 divided by two, which is 51 divided by two, which is 25.5. So the first quartile using method three would be 25.5. A more practical way to do it would be method two. It's the quickest method. It finds the position of the first quartile and then you look for that data point along that position. So let's see what position we get. We take one quarter, the total number of data points plus one, and that will be the position of the term that we're looking for. So it would be equal to one quarter of 101 and that would be equal to 25 and a quarter. So that is most likely, or not most likely, but closest to the energy number of 25. So that would be the 25th position, which would be the number 25. So using method two, we have 25 as the most likely candidate for the first quartile. So you can see you get very similar results for method two as you do for method three. Now for method one, we need to think a little bit more. We're going to take both points on either side of that boundary, 25 and 26, and see if it satisfies these two conditions. So let's first pick 25. And first of all, we then look to the left of 25, so that would be from 24 downward, and that means we have 24% of our data points to the left of the point that we picked. So for the low, we have 24%. And the rule is that at most one quarter, which is 25% of the data, are smaller in value. And that would be 24% that checks. So therefore, it meets that condition for the pick of 25. How about the other rule? Well, to the right from 25, we have 75%, which is the limit of what it can be. So on the high side, we have 20, not 25, but 75% and that just falls right inside what we're allowed. Not more than 75%, but 75% is okay, so it meets both of those conditions, so 25 is a good pick for method one. How about the other pick, number 26? Let's try that, let's pick 26. And so on the low side, we now have 25% of all the data points to the left of our pick and the rule says that at most a quarter, at most 25%, so 25% meets that condition and to the right of 26 we now have on the high side we have 74% to the right of 26 which also meets the criteria because it says not more than three quarters. So it turns out that both 25 and 26 are legitimate picks for method number one for method number two, we pick 25. For method number three, we end up with 25.5. So you can see that the first quartile legitimately can be picked to be 25, 25 and a half, or 26, and they're all legitimately correct. I think most people probably want to pick 25 because that's the point where, he, that's the 25th uh, data point out of 100 data point, which is close to 25%. So therefore, most people will probably pick 25, but you can see you can legitimately pick 25, 25 and a half, and 26. And that is how it's done.